Hey there, it's Pop Moss, and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with our little village in Father's Frontier. Episode 5 already, we are at year 8. And things are not looking that bad, although we haven't been raided yet, so I'm a bit anxious because I think we might get raided soon. But, all in all, things are not looking that grim. We only have 9 laborers now though, that is not too many. So hopefully we get a better number of that. We can see that most of the trees for the arborist are now planted. So that's a good thing. That hopefully means that soon enough we'll get some fruits out of these. Which will be helpful. And um, furthermore, this field get worked on real fast right now. Which is great. So let's hope they keep up this great work. And that this field get done real fast so we can get some extra food out of it. I think we're not really going to produce that much food on this field though. Because one of the things we need is clothing for our people. So we might just get some uh, flax out of that field. Start with this field as the fir first flax field. We can also see these animals are trying to get in. That's why we've built the fence so far. Um, and we might just go one wider. Then continue with the fence and build a whole lot of fields in that zone. But right now we'll leave it as it is. We'll just wait until this field is done. And then we will find a setup for it. I just don't know if all these people can actually... Yep, yeah, this way they will make it done. There we go. Let's pause for a second so that we can get all of this working out properly. And then they need some flax to actually um, make sure that this works. It does lose a lot of fertility on the flax, so that's something that we might have to keep in mind we also could get some nice food out of this of course and then also give it some extra fertility and then we'll figure out what we do in that year but at least the first field for flax is up the more workers we get the more fields we build and then we want in the end three fields that produce flax so that we have flax produced each year now it will take some time before the flax is ready that gives us time to actually build the weaver so that we can get some clothing going on. Uh, Weaver has two ways where a road can be. So that could give us an incentive to build it right there. Yep, there we go. And then from here on out all the way to there. That's it. Alright, well we have to wait. And as soon as this is ready we're going to get the workers out. Because we don't need them yet. But at least we are prepared now. As I'm getting more scared of a raid. Um, I don't know how big this raid's going to be. We know that there's a raider's camp on the map right there. And that will make it so that we should get more raids than when we get rid of that camp. So at some point we are going to get rid of that camp. Simply because that will be a way to make sure that we get fewer raids on our camp. But um, for now... It is what it is. Oh, they're fast. They're building this already. That's the nice thing. When you accumulate some resources, they can quickly build stuff. There it is. Ooh, we get a lot of sick people. I don't like that. Well, that's one of the things in this game. People get sick all the time. All right, let's get these people out because we uh, have no job for them at the moment. Should I build another one of these arborists? I think so. I think so. We'll take some time before they actually start to work anyway. And by getting that... And building a road... In here. We might just make sure that... Uh, at some point we get a lot of fruits out of these trees. I'll keep my eyes on this one though. See if it will actually start to produce some, uh, some fruit soon. Alright, these are working well. I think we have plenty of meat. Yeah, we might need another smoker to actually deal with all the uh, all the meat we are producing. We are producing quite good amounts of meat right now. So the question is, where does the smoker go? Needs to be in a convenient spot, of course. Well, this could be okay. This could be okay. Then we don't have a lot of fish... Only 106 that is not smoked yet. So we can give it the same work ratio, 1 to 3. And then 
that should work out. I think we should prioritize this build first. I want the smoker up to smoke that meat. Smoke meat will stay good for longer. If they put it in a salad, then it will stay even longer. So that's all just bonuses for us. And we need those bonuses right now. 115 people. And remember, we started off with 12. And before we got new people in, one was already killed by a wolf. So then we had only 11 left. And now we are at 115. Ah, doesn't sound too bad to me. Is the wolf stand still empty? Yes. Well, can we now, I don't know, take it down then or something? Maybe we need some military to actually destroy it. And until we do, it might just be what it is and, and it stays there. Maybe a new wolf spawns in, I don't know. We'll figure that out soon. There's actually some fish here. Won't be a lot, I think. But even if we can just build one fishing... Sh oh, there's a lot of fishing points here. Oh, that's interesting. Because I also want to con create a road connection. For the farm. And now if we build this, and we build the fishing shack... Oh no, that's the smoker. We built the fishing shack attached to the road. That might actually be good for transportation. And we can just... Move its zone all the way around this so that it will get all the fish out of there. Probably not a lot of fish in this pond anyway. Well, we'll see. And if it's empty at some point and there's no new fish spawning in, we can just put the fishery somewhere else at the water. It's worth the shot, I think. Oh, this one's ready. Nice. Uh, this time we'll start with some pear trees. Okay, then we'll plant some peach trees, I guess. Something like that. And then we'll do a lot of apple trees on this side. Yeah, that might be good. Don't know if they can surface these ones that are really on the outskirts, but we'll find out. This one has not produced any fruits yet, so we'll have to see how that goes. But, yeah, I think once the trees mature, it will really start to kick in with some fruit production. Ah, they're getting rid of the weeds. These maintain an okay wheat level, although a bit more might be removed. Rockiness is completely gone here. That's great. Wheat's almost gone. And uh, probably should get rid of this one now. Put in that and then that one. Yeah, that should do the trick. Well, this should restore the fertility or make it even better. And at some point we get a lot of fertility from this guy because he's collecting all the waste and as soon... Oh, this is decomposing already. Then we get fertilizer out of it. And that will add quite a bit of good stuff to the... Uh... Oh yeah, which one is straight? Let's continue like this so I can actually see if it's straight. Um, I'm just going to build it to here, I think. Because this building is three wide, so one, two, three. If we build another wagon shop there at some point, we might want to do it like this. Yeah, this is also three now, so that's exactly how I want it. No, 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 not that. I misclicked there. All right, that's better. Crops lost to animals. Wow, 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 wow. You go there and scare these animals off, please. No, 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 no. You go away. You all go away. Don't get near my crops, they're mine. My good dear hunter friend, make sure you hunt these animals. Where are you? Where's my hunter friend? He's not home. He's not there. That guy is. Oh yeah, he's in. He is in. Are there, is there still a deer running around this fields? No, they seem to have gone now. All right, you get that deer because he's getting too close. Well, that's something we have to work on at some point. 
might just start working on the fencing network then. Um, so here we have one, two, three, four, five for the field. So here we get one, two, three, four, five for the field. So the fence has to go here. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. And then from here on out, we're going to go all the way up like that. We have to build some access points into this, of course, but that's it. This should already keep them uh, at bay a little bit more. All right, you get rid of that one. We're going to shoot three deers now. See how that goes. And then, yeah, you can pick up the stuff. Bring in the carcasses. That should be okay. Well, I think once this whole fencing gets built, we should be okay. Saving up the game. Very good. I like the auto saves. Still have room for new in immigrants. They don't come that often, but uh, it's okay. We have 248 gold. Nice numbers. Uh, yeah, next year we start to produce some flax. A villager cured. Always a good thing. They're starting to building these fences now. But we have all the wood for it, so... No worries there. Let's get rid of all these trees at some point. Yeah, they're going to build some fences here. There's still a deer there. But as long as the farmers are present, they usually protect the fields just by their presence because it will scare the deer off. This is a deer from someplace else. Did it come from all the way here? Yep, yeah, those are deer from this place. Wow, they travel far to steal some of my food. Not so friendly animals now. Alright, let's see. There is 204 fish in here. I think we can uh, get the productivity up to 330%. 340. Wow. Well, enjoy the fishing there, my friend. It's almost like you just hand out, step out, you put up your hands and a fish will jump in. That's how the productivity is now. That's pretty cool. Let's keep that up. Alright, food's still okay. It's, it's pretty stable now. Stays around 15, 16, goes up a bit, goes down a bit. That's what we want. To have a stable source of food. I mean, I don't need to really overproduce that much. Overproduction will simply mean that a lot will spoil, which is wasted effort. So we don't need to overproduce that much. It's all fine. Soap shop. We need wood, tallow and herbs. Well, we have to tell her we have to herp. So let's get a soap shop. That means extra money and the soap. Make her renders tallow and herbs into soap that villagers can use to keep clean and prevent the spread of disease. Now, who doesn't want to help prevent the spread of disease? Um, ah, oh, I can't build it in there. Too big a structure. Yeah, it's three by four. Okay. Um, well. I guess it can just go somewhere here then. Or here. Why not? Let's build it right there. Let's continue this route then. Put it up like that so a new structure can go in here at some point. 50 planks needed for the soap maker. And we can really make some soaps. Oh, well, let's do it like this. So at least we get two extra <laughs> laborers again. Ouch. Nobody is carrying goods around at the moment. That is not so good. No fruits yet. Oh, this one almost has all his trees too. That's good. That's good. September till October. June to August. And September to October. So if it was going to get any fruits out of it, it would already have, I think. So, yeah. It will take some time. We'll get the fruits out of there, though. Don't you worry about it. They're just taking their sweet time with it. And I need some sweet laborers. Not a villager. As soon as the villagers get sick all the time, the problem is that they won't work until they're healed up. And we're already so short in people, so the sickness will really have an effect on how everything performs. Still, though, we only have three deaths so far in eight years of gameplay, and it's a survival game. So I would dare to state that it's not actually going that bad, because, well, 
we have been taking care of things in a good manner. And yep, the, we have no more fish that needs to smoke. We have some meat that needs smoking, but that's okay. We have a lot of smoked meat now, by the way. So that will help get the spoilage down a bit. And with the same amount of meat, we can do longer because it won't spoil. So, happy me. Just have to keep this up and slowly expand now. One villagers are sick. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Seven new people immigrated. That's the, <laughs> that's the laborers I was looking for. So we're not going to give them too many jobs. They can go into the soap maker, build some soaps soon. But that's it. Not going to give them any more jobs. Ooh, lots of planks delivered already. Great job, people. And, oh, they still needs to be built and stuff. So, okay. Plenty of work here. Well, they have their work cut out for them, I guess. That's the way to put it. Okay, people, who's going to bring me the last 15 planks and finish this structure? Uh, I'm getting more and more anxious because we have not been raided yet. And we're at the end of year 8, so... They might still come. Could also be that they come the next year, then. Oh, ouch. Okay, there's the planks. They're now building the soap maker. Let's get those soaps spread around town to prevent disease. Or at least a spread of it. There will be two people working in there. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's have them. And then we should start to... Yeah, we have plenty of herbs. Plenty of tallow. That's all not an issue. We have some candles to spare now, actually. We have some shoes. That's all good. Let me check the trader. Yeah, we already have 25 of those. We can up this number to 25, I think. So that we have some more baskets to sell. And I'm going to put food in there because food will spoil. I think we can also transfer some shoes there. Um, now, if we do this, we first of all have to get good money out of the trade. If we're actually going to sell it. And we have to find means for that money. So, for instance, a temple is really expensive. But it will fulfill a lot of the spiritual needs. So that could be something. Could also go for something like the festival pole. Entertained villagers will be happy. We already have the school and the healer and the trader. So that's all up. No worries there. Uh, we have all of this. So that's no worry. The barracks could be something. Cost me 250 gold to simply build it. Well, we have that, but that's about it. Uh, but on the other hand, if we build the barracks... It's a big building, but if we build it... It could be just out here outside of the walls. Because it can help defend that area. Uh, with the barracks, we might be good to train some troops at some point. And we don't have to occupy it yet. We can just build it. I'm going to build it. Is there wolves again here? Nope. Wolves then appears to be empty still. That's nice. Deep gold deposit. Also nice. Okay. Now that the wolves aren't there, why not do a little bit of recon here? And then when the wolves come back, we'll kill them. Or we send out a posse if we need to, to destroy this. But I'm not so sure. I also would like to know how many people are here in the bandit camp. Where is it? Oh, there was some... Oh, it's here. Can I see that? No. Clearing it out will yield spoils and delay future attacks on your people. See? But I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a bunch of guys standing around it. So we do need... A sizable army if we want to attack them. And we don't even have weapons and such. So that's a problem. Right now everybody's rushing towards their houses. Because uh, it's cold and there's a cold storm coming. And soon enough they'll get out of their houses. Alright. Well as soon as this cold snap part of winter is over... Everybody will get back to their jobs. And hopefully we start to produce some good amounts of soap. Yep, everybody's ready again. There they go out. Oh, somebody's praying here apparently. Look at that. Hello. Oh, she's a priest. Oh, there's actually one. Oh, I did not know the shrine actually had a worker on it. Cool. 
Nice, nice, nice. Somebody's preaching there. Doesn't appear to have a lot of listeners, but somebody's preaching there. Okay, what do we need for the next tier, if we ever want to go there? We need 150 people. Well, we're working towards that. We have everything else. And we just need a lot of planks, clay, and gold. So that's also where the trade comes in. If we can get that extra money, that will be helpful. Here we see our builders, probably, and some of the laborers clearing out this built site so that they can actually build something here. Yep, there we go. Predators are attacking. Oh, that's a boar. Usually the boars don't really attack you. They just charge and then run away because they're usually too scared to come after you. Okay, what do we have here? An infinite clay deposit. Well, that's about it with the deposits, so... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There's three boars here, probably. Yep, that's usually the amount you get with such a deposit. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, the barracks are coming along nicely. And we should probably set up this bit of the field. Probably do some more turnips then. And then that. And then that one. Well, that should raise fertility quite a bit. Yeah, number nine. Villager cured. We have room for six more people. That might not be sufficient in a while. One, two, three. There we go. Let's build a road. Oh, this house is not placed at the right place. Uh, it is a homestead, though. Let's move it one place. That should be okay. That's what happens when you have all those trees. Sometimes it's hard to see where you place something. So, it'll be okay. The barracks are up. Monthly cost? Nothing. Combat efficiency? No. We can recruit people, though. Military companies window, transfer soldiers. Yeah, we don't need any companies and stuff. It's just that we have the building. If we get raided, we might just recruit some soldiers. But uh, we don't have any weapons except arrows. Which is powerful. I mean, if they can shoot arrows, that'll be helpful. But eh, might need some hand weapons at some point. I don't think we can make those yet. Or, yeah, the armory. We can make armor. I don't think we can make any simple weapons already. No. Which is tough, because, well, how do we defend ourselves if we can't even make a simple weapon? Uh, you can buy them. But yeah, then you really have to buy them. And that cost me money. And I'm not really that much looking forward to it. Alright, we have a merchant. Let's see. Pays a good price for clothing, so that could be interesting. Pays a good price for honey and stuff, but yeah, we're not going to sell that. We're also not going to buy anything, so that's not happening. Crops lost to animals, again. And a building is on fire, again. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot happening at once. Luckily, the villagers are fast and doing a great job. Thank you very much, my villagers. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I am actually going to do some counting. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's exactly what we need for one field. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. That's exactly what we need for the other field. Uh, 13, 14. That's for the fence here and for the fence there. So this should be okay. Uh, let's just keep building it first and then see how that goes. If it's actually enough. Yeah. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. And then... We can continue the fence here too. That would make it even harder for the animals to get in. Whoa! They're eating everything. And he should be doing a good job there, but he is not. This hunter should also be doing a good job, but he is not. So let's make this one just a hunter to protect this area. Um, And we're going to expand our fencing big time then.
Don't know how big I'm going to make the farm yet. But better have some fences to spare. Then be short on them. So there we go. Are you the hunter? Are you the gatherer? No, you're the forager. Okay. Are you must be the hunter. You get a deer. Yes, very good. You get another deer. Yes, very good. You get another deer. Yes, very good. You get another deer. Shoot these critters. They're behaving like vermin. Okay. There's one more. Let's start collecting them all. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, there's one running there, but we'll leave him running for now. At least... I think he shot quite a few that lived there. We should get some extra meat and stuff in, which is nice, which is nice. Um... And hopefully the crops are now safe for a little bit. We should be getting good amounts of food out of it. We should get the first flax out of it this time. Um, still short on laborers, of course. But it might be worth it putting somebody in the weaver soon. It just needs flax. So that's okay. Uh, it's not coming in yet, so we have to wait a bit. But yeah, that might be... A good solution to our clothing problem. Because, yeah, you can see clothing is not all good. So that might be helpful. Can at least start with one. I mean, why not? Well, they're harvesting flax. So we should basically have flax now at some point. Or they should probably need to bring it somewhere first. They'll do that. Uh, let me just put in one worker. And then as soon as he can, he will start to gather the supplies. There's our flax. We don't see anything being brought into any storages yet. That should just be a matter of time. Apparently, he's stocking the building now. So it is out there. And we now have 234 flax. Yay, that's good. Okay, we have plenty of wood. These guys are just collecting wood. So, people, get out of here and go do some labor jobs. Yes, we're getting fruits here. Produced 12 fruits last year. 14. Oh, that's this year then. So, yeah, the numbers are running up. Look at that. 18, 19, 20. So, yeah, we're getting fruits out finally. Took a bit, but then you have something. So, all in all... It's okay. We just need those extra laborers. The good thing is, though, we are now at year 9. We should be getting closer and closer to the point that some of our kids will grow up and be adults. And then the first kids that we are now just feeding and they're not contributing will start to contribute to the village. And that's always a little uh, important place to go because then we don't rely solely on immigrants anymore. Then we will slowly get kids growing up 2, 3, 4 a year that will start to contribute into the workforce. Of course, also more and more people will age, so at some point they will die. But at least we start that whole rotation of new influx of people from child into adults. And some people will start to die because of old age. And that should keep the village going. Ooh, 70 food produced already. Nice. Storage is empty, though. Is he carrying it or is somebody else doing it? No, he carried 66. Okay. Probably delivering that to the storage then. Is he? Let's follow him for a bit. But I think he's going to go to one of the storages. Yep. Going there. Delivered the fruits. 66 fruits in there. Well, I like that. One of the things I don't really like is that you can't really tell, like... In Austria nowadays, you can hover over a resource, see when the first batch is about to spoil and stuff. You have absolutely no clue about this in this game. About that in this game, uh, it's okay. No, no hard feelings or whatever. It's a lovely game, but would be nice if we could get a little bit more information sometimes about those things. Like, is it likely to go that way or not, and stuff like that. But we'll see. All right, nine laborers right now. It is still not enough for the village, but it is a start. The uh, fencing is starting to take some real shape, and I think that's good. I think we need that. The more fencing, the better. Uh, if we take a look at the fertility, though, yeah, this is all fertile land. 
But what we could do at some point is just add an extra fence to it. So uh, what do I mean by that? Uh, an inner fence could be helpful. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to do that now. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we can make a field there. One, two, three, four, five. We can make a field there. One, two, three, four, five. We can make a field here. So what if... Oh, wow. What's that? That's already... Oh, the fence is already longer. If we make a fence here, we can make a bunch of fields in here without any problems. And we have the extra fence here that can protect it. So even though we're not using this yet, now we're waiting for the complete farm to be ready. And when it is, we will actually start to uh, utilize all the um, fences. We fence this off now and it's closed. Even though it might not be at the perfect spot, spot but we'll find that out soon enough. So I'm actually going to uh, go there. I think 24. Yeah, I think this should be the right place, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's too small or too big now, but we'll find out. Let's put in three gates. Once this fence is done, the animals can't get into our farmlands anymore. And we're also going to use this all as farmland later on. But now at least the animals won't get in anymore. And that will save us. So the extra fence here will give us time to utilize this and turn it into farm fields. Later on we'll do this and build some extra fencing around it. But once this is done, all the animals that are inside at that point we need to kill. But that's it. Then all this farmland is safe because we have a closed off fence. And I'm not going to wait until we utilize the whole land to just build that fence. Problem is, if raiders come, they will start to destroy our fences. So we have to uh, keep that in mind. That we might need to um, do something about that. All right, these are all set up properly, so that works. We are now producing some clothing, I believe. Uh, are we? Yep, produced five pieces of clothing. They should all be sold out straight, of course. We even have some soaps. See, we don't have candles yet in store. We are producing it, but it's being sold out all the time. And we're probably producing in numbers that uh, are not sufficient to supply the whole town with that stuff all the time. But it's okay. It's okay. This village is also, or this game is also about slow progress. So we need to slowly progress further and further into the game, step by step. Make sure that we get the stuff, because now that we get it, it will make people more happy. I mean, these have pottery, these have the candles. Just desirability needs to go up in a higher tier town hall. And we can upgrade the building already. So that is good. Um, so take your time with the game. Don't go into overdrive, because there's no need for that. Right, there we are. Another year almost done. Which also means another year that we did not get raided. I'm getting really anxious now for a raid. Good thing is, the animals should not be trying to get in now. Because there's nothing growing in winter. Hopefully, they can finish some of this fencing before the end of winter. Now that I take a look at it, look at that. We are now down to less than 700 firewood. So... We do need that extra guy to keep up because we are underproducing. So let's put that in and keep our eyes on the firewood. See if it starts to grow again now. It should. That should be uh, the life savior for the village right now. We don't need an extra structure, I think. Just an extra person should do the trick. Of course, these minor changes take some time to actually take effect. You won't see this running up in the next 30 seconds. But at least it's working out. This might also be a good one to get an extra one in. For all the big resource hauling that they're doing. And if we take a look at our stockpile, we can see we have already stocked 126 coal. We don't need it yet. Because we don't have any furnaces or whatever. We're not producing any iron. But in the future, we're going to need it. This farm produced 85 fruits. This one produced 150 fruits. I like it. We have 14 months of food, but only five is about to spoil. That means that there's nine months of food left that will stay good for at least 12 months. That's pretty awesome. So I think our village is going uh, okay. Still lots and lots of work, of course. But for starters, and for thus the first 10 years, it's not that bad. So right now, I am just going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section so that I can respond to them. 
And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.